The election of Nancy Astor changed British democracy forever. Her arrival in Parliament was an earthquake. It changed everything. The importance of her election is that here, for the very, very first time, was a woman who was able to influence the parliamentary debate and ask questions and vote on the writing of the laws of her own land. The Astor Archive is, is a treasure trove. Um, it is a wonderful resource um, that more and more people should know about. I was lucky enough to use the Astor Archive and to, to look at, at a lot of Astor's papers. It's obvious how the Archive has been a cornerstone of all of these celebrations, thanks to Jackie's vision and her ingenuity. So Parliament and Parliamentary Archives have been really pleased to work with Jackie and with the University of Reading more broadly over several years. Nancy Astor was always a really crucial part of what we were interested in. So a couple of years ago um, we approached Jackie and we started working with her and we're just bowled over by Jackie's knowledge and by the richness of the University of Reading collections. Because in the parliamentary archives we have the parliamentary side of the story so we have uh, the original acts, we have the bills, what we don't have are the, the personal stories, the letters that went to Asta from the women, from children all over the country in 1919 and for the rest of her parliamentary career. So it's been fantastic to work with Reading in order to bring these sort of two sides of the story together. It's very important that we vote, no matter who you vote for or why, just turning up at the polling station or postal vote or proxy vote, however you want to vote and making a decision is really important. I think Nancy's work in Parliament and Nancy's election um, was so important. Of Asta being like the first female politician to you know, sit in the House of Commons and giving like us the chance to meet other women and create you know, connection that just sort of carries on the having women in academia and um, in politics. Or women who actually are willing to be MPs. So you can't have the vote without a woman to represent you in Parliament. 